hello so today we're talking about soul contracts versus free will and this question was given to me by um, Andy Kanash who is a client um, student friend now I think of mine and Andy and I've been working together for quite some time and he sent me this um, this question to talk about which is really fascinating and pretty complex so soul contracts are unconscious agreements that we have made with ourselves that have come from a previous existence so they are the result of experiences that we have had in past lifetimes now the interesting thing is that that Andy's question was, well, um, soul contracts and free will seem to be counterintuitive because um, if we have free will, then how, then how can we map out our life if there are these things that we have to do? So I'd like to just work on the premise that we are in a soul contract because we have free will, because we have already decided this is what we want to do now if we're in uh, if we're in this incarnation and we decide that we're not going to play ball with that then um i'm told by my guides that we can step out of it we can but it is quite a powerful thing that we've set ourselves this job to do now this there are there are thoughts about um uh, karma here some people say that soul contracts are karmic which means that we have um we take an action in a previous life or things have happened to us in a previous life which have led us to decide that we are going to proceed in a certain way in this life you can see it as an extension of somebody who has a really bad breakup in a relationship and then says i've decided i'm not going to commit to anyone again in the rest of my life well in a way that is that is that would be a soul contract except it's 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 carrying on from from one incarnation to another it is the result of 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 pain and that we've made the decision to try and avoid that pain moving forward now there are other forms of of karmic contract that have said well i i lived a life which was perhaps experiencing me being very dominant or or being quite um brutal to to others and now i choose to experience the opposite so people are being dominant to me because I'm going to experience the other side of it. This is the point of existence, experiencing. This is how our soul grows in maturity and, 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 and raises its level of vibration and consciousness because we want to have as many experiences as possible because it's only by having experiences that we can then grow in maturity and wisdom. If we if we want to avoid all experiences then there is absolutely no point in being here to be here is to experience that's the point of life and so if we have one experience in one incarnation we will choose to have another experience in another incarnation now that doesn't mean that all the events of our life are just mapped out we can make the decision to so for instance if we if we have made the decision that we're going to suffer in some way if we can then learn the ascension lessons of that and we we will no longer have to do that anymore so if for instance we have made the decision in this life that we're going to not commit to a relationship or where we are going to go through life not having um committed loving relationships we can choose to go into what is causing us to remain so stuck and make a different decision we can i'm told by my guides that it is not fixed we are not enslaved to this 
but but the idea is that we get beyond it and above it because we're all connected and the idea is that whatever we experience in this life also affects those around us so we may decide to, to play a part in somebody else's life we may decide that our role in their life will be a certain thing so they can experience a certain thing we are all connected this is like a web we don't exist as an island in, in our own entirety so um, there are some souls who have a very white light purpose who are old and very mature and have, uh, attach no um, importance to the idea of suffering in a physical life and they may decide to come down and have an experience which involves some trauma and suffering and then go on to help a multitude of other people after that experience so um, the world's great healers such as Gandhi or Mother Teresa or all of those those figures who we know as avatars for um, personal sacrifice in the name of some larger greater good now that is not enforced they have made a decision to do that and they're at peace with that now not all of us are that evolved but nevertheless we all have a role to play in the ascension of everyone and everything in this world our job is to is to raise our consciousness collectively and by having all these different experiences our kind of hive mind assimilates it all when we look at how far we've come as a collective consciousness even in the last few hundred years the 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 improvements we've made in in our collective understanding of right and wrong and the idea of happiness and the idea of what's fair and what's not we are learning collectively as a web and we are each playing our part in that learning and our soul contract will be to be a part of that in some way to play a part both for ourselves and for the other souls that we are connected to our soul family now in that mix is the idea of soulmates which are part of our close soul family and and so we are going to play a role in each other's lives in this in this incarnation um so whatever that is we have free will within our own life though we can decide what we want our experience to be so this is a it's, it's not an exact science guys and i i never claim to be the arbiter of all truth we're all trying to find our way here as best we can but this is my understanding of it and i and i hope this sheds some light onto this very complex subject using tarot it's really interesting to be able to go in and and tap into the ashkarnic records which apparently that's where all the information is i have been in to my own records and have had a look at my own soul contracts we all have one we tend to only be aware of them if we're aware of some negativity in our lives which seems to be replaying and so if we have a very positive soul contract we tend not to question it much do we but there will be one nonetheless and so what our soul has decided it wants to experience in this life will be part and parcel of our overall journey as a soul this life is just one small part of it so we can go in and have a look at what our soul contract is now i've had some very difficult um conversations with clients about the fact that some trauma that they have been experiencing and some things that they have gone through is part of a soul contract but that ultimately they will go on and they will they will play a part which is which is bigger than perhaps they had envisaged for themselves and that's that's a difficult conversation to make because it sounds like you're saying well you chose this 
I mean, you know, it is difficult, isn't it? Because on some level, they did. But that doesn't mean it's their fault. What it means is they're not seeing the whole of the picture yet. So, you know, we all must find our own individual truth here, right? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I absolutely have chapter and verse on the whole universe, because I don't. But I, I do have some information through my readings for others and through my work with my own guides. I can tell you what appears to be true and what I the information that I appear to have been told and I can only pass that to you and hope that it speaks to you in a way that makes sense to you and helps you on your journey. It's complicated, this is big stuff, but fascinating, hey, I find it fascinating. So I really hope that's been interesting and um, if you'd like to talk to me more about readings I'd be very happy to read for you. If you would like to explore your soul's journey through a reading I'd be very happy to help you with that as well to the best of my ability. So um, I'm always here for a reading if you would like one and if you like the channel, if you enjoy these conversations then do like and subscribe. I'm I'm i do a video every week in some capacity. I hope to add to the positivity of all of our experiences so that we can learn and grow together because that's actually what we're all here to do, to learn and grow together. And I hope I can play my part in that. So um, I'll say goodbye and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye for now. <laughs>